Um, I always had a love for cooking. I uh, started cooking at a young age. My grandparents were um, foodies before it was trendy. Uh, we always had a garden, so I was very used to growing our own food and cooking our own food. Um, decided, took a non-traditional path, did an undergraduate degree first in food service management, and then decided I want to do something a little more hands-on. That's what led me to ultimately go to culinary school at Sullivan. Sullivan I liked because it was in the southeast. I was already here, um, had a lot of family, so it was really easy. Um, and they had such a good reputation. I think they were top three in the country, and Sullivan had a track record, and they've been around, so kind of went with what was, what was established. Going through the different classes and learning the classical way to do things and then the practical way to do things, um, me being in a, a culinary arts and in the catering concentration, uh, we got to do a lot of actual events for the catering program. We travel off-site, a lot with Derby, you know, which is huge in Louisville, but just a lot of uh, private social events. Uh, we even did some weddings while we were at school. So it's not just the learning environment we got, it was very much hands-on, practical experience we got, um, and that was always a lot of fun. Savor the Flavor Catering is our company. We've been in business almost seven years. <laughs> um, we started it shortly after we got out of school. We actually did the corporate thing for a little while. Um, but Savor the Flavor is an independent off-site catering. That means we do all our events outside of the kitchen. Um, we do all types from corporate to social. Uh, we do make a lot of our stuff from scratch, um, and that's stuff we learned at Sullivan. Uh, we had the confidence um, in ourselves because of the classes we took. Um, not only in our food, but in the business sense we got. I mean, we're very blessed and fortunate to have been in business this long. Um, we're doing a more upscale niche market, so a lot of um, appetizers and a lot of intricate uh, ethnic food. Um, but we do it across the board. Um, we take care of all kinds of different people. Uh, school really does give you a foundation to build on. Find out what you want to do and start working in that job and see what you like best, whether it be restaurants or catering or hotel. And then definitely get an education if possible. Um, if you have the time and the funds, it's totally worth it to go to school and really learn that aspect and have it in a, in a controlled environment where there are people trying to help you. And even now, I mean, the chefs there are still resources for us. This is a so source of encouragement, you know. So for young people that are trying to get into it, you kind of need that community and people around you that support you and can really help you in your career, even now and down the road. <laughs> Boy, no play with the bomb, the dang, the dang, diggy, diggy.